are signs. If you drive up and down US 1 in the Florida Keys, you're going to see them everywhere. But have you ever wondered where they come from? Hi, I'm Rebecca in the Keys with Florida Keys Television, TV88, and KeysVideos.com. And I'm here at Eye Catcher Signs on Plantation Key. And I'm here to talk to TJ Hayes, the owner, who's going to walk us through the process of making a sign. So come on in, let's find out how he does it. I'm here with TJ, our local sign maker in the Florida Keys. TJ, tell us about the types of signs you make at Eyecatchers. Well, we make all types of signs. We do uh, banners, boat lettering, we do sandblasting signs, we do large electrical signs, we do neon signs, we also do boat wraps, um, we do A-frame signs. Any kind of sign you need, we're a full-blown sign shop. So. You do it all here. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Now, if we're driving down US 1, tell us some of the more recognizable signs that you've done. Well, we've been doing them a long time, so like Green Turtle is one of my favorites because it's got all the neon and flash and I love that sign. Uh, we just recently redid the uh, Islander sign for uh, the Islander. Um, we've also done a lot of stuff for, uh, we did Murata Bay moorings back about uh, many years ago. Also Trading Post, I mean those are some of my favorites, yeah. Alright, and going back to the Islander, are there a lot of signs that got blown away in, the, in Arma? Um, yeah, yeah, we've got stacks of work right now. It is kind of plateauing a little bit, but we're uh, working hard trying to get them all back up in business, and uh, it's, a, it's a challenge. Okay, what signs are you working on right now? Well, we're working on right now uh, Marathon Deli down there. We got a big that big job that we're working on, um, and well, we're working on Flying Fishermen. We're working on Little Basin Villas. I mean, there's so much work. Uh, I saw Founders here. Park. Yeah, big Founders Park job too. That's uh, sandblasted entrance sign. Yes. All right, great. Yeah. Now, what about the history? You've been around here for a long time. Well, yeah, I came to the Keys in 1972, and uh, we started the sign shop in 1994. But uh, so we're, we're set in here and we got, you know, all the local business and been around for a while. All right. Well, so walk me through the process of making signs. Okay. Basically, um, what happens is someone will come in the shop or call us and um, we would start with uh, finding out what they want. And then we would sit here and design something on the computer mm -hmm. and we would uh, make it, get it right till they're happy. And then we start the process of making the sign. All right. Show me. All come right. on. Let's go on a tour. Let's do it. All right. All right, so now we're here at a computer screen, and what are we doing here? Well, um, we're gonna get you to where you like your bow wrap. You know, we've got your ideas mm -hmm. and your fonts, and then we've designed this for you, and this is a uh, bow wrap that we've done recently. Mm -hmm. um, it's out of touch, we did that in Marathon. So, um, you're happy, and now we're gonna go to the print process. Oh, wonderful, and tell me about the printer. Well, we have a large format printer, um, and we've got it running right now. We're gonna show you printing. Awesome. Well, let's go see it. Okay, TJ, tell me about this printer. Well, this is a large format printer. Uh, we can print uh, six feet, and um, that's in the height by whatever length of the boat uh, the boat is. Um, this is a print that we've started to print from the out-of-touch boat that we just showed you. That this was is, on the computer screen. Yeah, this is a test print of the fish, and um, you can see how clear it came out and crisp. Yeah, definitely. So what type of material do you use to do these wraps? Well, we use the best material on the boats. Um, we use a 3M material. Um, it's got about a five to eight year lifespan. And we use uh, water inkjet uh, inks. And um, it la stays on, it doesn't fade, it doesn't sun, and it's the best quality. Okay, so now we're out back with sandblasted signs. Tell me about that. Well, right now we're in the process of painting the sandblasted sign for the uh, village of Alamorada. Um, basically what we do is we put a rubber mat on the sign mm -hmm. and we take it to the blaster, sandblaster, and they take and blast all the uh, wood out and where the rubber mat is, it stays there and it becomes the wood look of what we have there. Oh, that looks amazing. And we're hand painting it right now. When is that one going to be ready? Uh, probably be ready in about three weeks. It and takes a little more time. They hand paint it. Yep, all hand painted, custom made. That's old school signage right there. Wonderful. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, TJ, so much for talking with us about the process of all the signs you see all over the Florida Keys and beyond. For all your sign needs, come to TJ at Eyecatcher Signs. Thank you very much. I'm Rebecca in the Keys, signing off for now. It's a wrap. Thank you, Rebecca.